once you cool it down, it forms cracks, and then you start to get the real big. So this, yeah, this is the visual gas is being extracted. Um, so we found out that there are about 200,000 people around the state that um, live and work daily in um, California's volcanic hazard zones. There are potentially millions who pass through because we have some major transportation corridors, especially the I-5 in the northern part of the state where we have um, Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake, and Lassen volcanoes. Um, we found that there are about um, 500 to 1,000 daily flights that pass through volcanic hazard zones. So in the northern part of the state, we have Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake, and Lassen Volcanic Center, which were all active within, within the past few thousand years. So we have Mount Shasta here, at the head of I-5, we have Medicine Lake Volcano there, and the Lassen Volcanic Center right here. We, we wouldn't say imminent. We would say that it's going to happen eventually. Um, there's about a 16% chance of some kind of volcanic activity at one of the volcanoes in California in the next 30 years. So we have uh, Mammoth Lakes right here with the ski resort. Mammoth Mountain, um, the Long Valley Caldera. We have um, GPS, seismometers, gas monitoring stations. So this study is not meant to present a bunch of doomsday scenarios and to panic people, but rather to give people the tools that they, they need to um, understand the risks from volcanoes in California and to potentially prepare for that if there were to be more volcanic unrest. So this uh, picture is showing an ash column from the May 22, 1915 eruption of uh, Lassen Volcano.